Hi everyone, how are you all? I am Rega. Welcome to my channel Rega's Knowledge Hub. Today we will see NCRT Classic Science Chapter 8 A Journey Through States of Water Multiple Choice Questions. I have already uploaded the chapter explanation video. Those who have not watched, please go through it. The water on the steel plate disappears after some time because it is absorbed by the plate, changes into water vapor, goes underground, turns into ice, which is the correct answer. The water on the steel plate disappears after some time. It changes into water vapor. This water gets converted into gaseous state called water vapor. The process of conversion of water into vapor is called options are condensation, evaporation, freezing, melting which is the correct answer. The process of conversion of water into vapor is called evaporation. The water sprinkled on a hot pan disappears because the options are it seeps into the pan, it is absorbed by air, it changes into steam, it becomes cold. Which is the correct answer? It changes into steam. The water which is sprinkled on the hot pan gets converted into steam. Steam is actually water vapor. Next one, evaporation can take place only at high temperatures, only at 100 degrees Celsius, even at room temperature, only under sunlight, which is the correct answer. Evaporation can take place even at room temperature. The process of conversion of water into its vapor state is called evaporation. The process of evaporation takes place Continuously, even at room temperature. Dew drops are seen more in the morning because options are air is warmer in the morning, air is cooler, and water vapor condenses on surfaces. Plants release water at night. There is no sunlight in the morning, which is the correct answer. Dew drops are seen more in the morning because air is cooler and water vapor condenses on surfaces. When the water vapor present in the air comes in contact with a cold surface, it forms water droplets. This process of conversion of water vapor into its liquid state is called condensation. Next one, the process of conversion of water vapor into liquid water is called options are evaporation, condensation, freezing, melting, which is the correct answer. Condensation, the process of conversion of water vapor into liquid water is called condensation. When a cold glass tumbler is kept in air, water droplets appear on its outer surface because water leaks through the tumbler, water vapor in the air condenses on the cold surface, ice melts and leaks outside, glass absorbs water and releases it outside, which is the correct answer. Water vapor in the air condenses on the cold surface. Water vapor from the air comes in contact with the cold surface of the glass tumbler and gets converted into water droplets on the glass tumbler through which process? Condensation. When the glass tumbler with cold water is weighed, after some time, its mass increases because options are Water seeps through the glass. Water vapor from the air condenses and adds to the mass. The tumbler absorbs air. 
ice becomes heavier which is the correct answer when the glass tumbler with the cold water is weighed after some time its mass increases because water vapor from the air condenses and adds to the mass water is not seeping from the glass tumbler and the extra water is getting collected because of condensation the amount of water vapor present in the air is known as options are rainfall humidity temperature dew point which is the correct answer humidity the amount of water vapor present in the air is called humidity next one what causes water droplets to form on a steel plate covering a boiling pot options are steam condenses when it touches the cooler plate steam freezes water leaks through the plate air turns into water which is the correct answer steam condenses when it touches the cooler plate when you cover a boiling pot with a steel plate you can see water droplets on the steel plate this is due to condensation steam condenses when it touches the cooler plate which of the following is an example of condensation options are drying clothes formation of clouds formation of fog and dew both b and c which is the correct answer both b and c drying clothes is an example of evaporation formation of clouds and formation of fog and dew they are examples for condensation next one which of the following statements about liquid water is true it has a fixed shape and volume it has no fixed shape but fixed volume it has no fixed shape and no fixed volume it has a fixed shape but no fixed volume which is the correct answer about liquid water it has no fixed shape but it has fixed volume water does not have a fixed shape it takes up the shape of the container in which it is kept but the volume of water remains constant water in the liquid state takes the shape of options are a cube any container it is placed in a sphere a flat surface only which is a correct answer water in the liquid state takes the shape of any container it is placed in next one ice does not flow or spread because options are it is a solid with a fixed shape and volume it evaporates quickly it changes shape easily it is lighter than air which is a correct answer ice does not flow or spread because it is a solid with a fixed shape and volume which of the following is true for water vapor or gas it has a fixed shape it spreads to fill the entire space available it remains only near the surface of water it is always visible which is the correct answer it spreads to fill the entire space available gases do not possess a fixed shape it will spread out in the entire available space which of the following correctly matches the state of water with its property ice flows easily water fixed shape water vapor fills entire space ice spreads like gas which is the correct answer water vapor fills entire space ice does not flow easily it will not spread then what about water it has no fixed shape then fourth option is also wrong ice spreads like gas it is not true ice does not flow or spread the next one the smell of food reaches us from the kitchen because liquid spread in air solid spread in air gases spread and mix with the air sound carries the smell which is a correct answer gases spread and mix with the air so the smell of food reaches us from the kitchen which of these are examples of liquids stones and wood milk and oil glass and wax air and oxygen which is the correct answer milk and oil oxygen and carbon dioxide are examples of 
solids liquids gases which is the correct answer oxygen and carbon dioxide are examples of gases next one ice can be changed into water by options are cooling it further supplying heat to it freezing it keeping it in a cold place correct answer is supplying heat to it by supplying heat to ice we can change ice into water to convert water into ice we need to supply heat keep it in sunlight place it in a cold environment or freezer boil it which is the correct answer to convert water into ice we need to place it in a cold environment or freezer next one the process of changing a solid into its liquid state is called options are evaporation freezing melting condensation which is the correct answer the process of changing a solid into its liquid state is called melting for example melting of ice the process of changing a liquid into its solid state is called options are freezing melting evaporation condensation which is the correct answer freezing the process of changing a liquid into its solid state is called freezing next one coconut oil becomes solid during winter because options are it evaporates it is heated the temperature is low enough to freeze it it absorbs moisture which is a correct answer coconut oil becomes solid during winter because the temperature is low enough to freeze it water evaporates faster when the exposed surface area is smaller the exposed surface area is larger the water is in a closed bottle there is no air movement which is the correct answer water evaporates faster when the exposed surface area is larger if you spread out water on a plate its area exposed to air is larger therefore evaporation is faster next one when two identical bottle caps with equal water are placed one in sunlight and one in shade water evaporates faster from options are the cap in the shade the cap in sunlight both equally which is the correct answer the cap in sunlight water evaporates faster from the cap kept in sunlight compared to the cap kept in shade on a windy day evaporation occurs options are faster slower not at all only at night which is the correct answer on a windy day evaporation occurs faster with the increase in the movement of air water evaporates faster the next one sprinkling water on the floor or roof during summer makes it cool because options are water freezes on the floor evaporation of water absorbs heat water blocks sunlight water increases humidity which is the correct answer evaporation of water absorbs heat why does air containing water vapor rise upwards it is heavier than air it is lighter than air it is pushed by wind it condenses quickly which is the correct answer it is lighter than air you have seen gas balloons containing lighter gases go up in the air similarly water vapor is lighter than air causing it to rise next one what is the process called when water vapor changes into water droplets options are evaporation freezing condensation melting which is the correct answer condensation the process by which water vapor changes into water droplets is called condensation what happens when water droplets in clouds become too heavy they disappear they turn into vapor they fall as rain they rise higher which is the correct answer they fall as rain the small water droplets float in the air and form clouds when many droplets join together to form bigger drops of water some drops get so heavy that they start falling these falling water drops are what we call rain next one what is the continuous movement of water on earth called 
options are water journey water flow water cycle rain process which is the correct answer water cycle next one very easy question which of the following is not a part of the water cycle options are evaporation condensation photosynthesis precipitation which is the correct answer photosynthesis next one why should we use water wisely options are it rains daily oceans have plenty of water fresh water is limited water cannot evaporate which is the correct answer fresh water is limited so we should use water wisely what happens to rain water after it falls to the earth options are it disappears it flows back to oceans lakes and rivers it stays in clouds it turns into vapor immediately which is the correct answer it flows back to oceans lakes and rivers thanks for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe we will see in the next video thank you